Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to undervolt your GPU, specifically the 3070 Ti. There's quite a few videos out there, but this is to share my settings for the 3070 Ti by undervolting and overclocking. To start off, we'll need two programs, MSI Afterburner and Unigen Heaven Benchmark 4.0. They're both free and I'll leave the download links below. Alright, so once you have MSI Afterburner installed and running, this is the default UI. I'll go through each of the sliders one by one. So the first one's the core voltage. It doesn't seem to affect the performance at all, so I'll just leave it at zero. The second slider is the power limit. So depending on your card, uh, this value will be different. 4307 Ti with gigabyte overclock gaming. I would pull it to the max at 103%. It would just limit how much power your card can draw for a given load. Just below that, there's the temperature limit, but I wouldn't worry about it too much since we're undervolting. And you can change the priority from power limit to temperature limit, but because we're never hitting the temperature limit, I would just leave it on the power limit. Before we talk about the core clocks, I'll quickly go over the memory clock. So because the 3070 Ti, it's all the 3080 and 3090, they're running GDDR6X. It is not recommended to overclock them. The reason is because it, these new memory has error correction codes built in. When you overclock it too high, instead of crashing, your card will just lose performance. There is room for overclocking though but I still wouldn't recommend it because the memory already runs pretty hot. If you overclock it anymore, you will just be pushing the temperatures higher. All right, and now onto the main part of the video. So this is the core clock. And if you see on the left, there's an icon called the frequency voltage curve editor. Click on that, this will pop up. Go ahead and type negative 100 and press enter. This will offset your curve by 100 megahertz. And for my settings, this is pretty stable for most cards. You go to 975 millivolts and you can drag it up to 2000 megahertz or even just a bit higher. And once you've done that, you can click on apply, which is a tick. And that's it, your undervolt's done. If you want to save it as a profile, you can click on the little save icon on the bottom right of MSI Afterburner and then just click on a profile to save it to. And if you want it to start up when Windows starts, you can click on the little Windows icon on the bottom left. And that's it. Your undervolt's complete. You'll be running at higher clock speeds than stock at lower voltages, which should give you better temperatures. To check if it's stable though, you'll need to run Unigen Heaven Benchmark. Uh, go ahead and click on presets and select extreme. It doesn't really matter what settings you use as long as you're consistent with your benchmarking. And once you have it on extreme, go ahead and click play. Once you're in Unigen, just click on benchmark on the top left and this will stress test your GPU. If you can see our MSI afterburner, it's running at 975 millivolts, which is less than stock and it's running at higher clock speeds at 2000 megahertz. And you just check if it's stable. If it is stable, you can push it even further by lowering your voltage or increasing your core clock. Thanks for watching. And if you want to share your undervolt settings, please feel free in the comments. I'm sure it'll help out someone in the world. Oh, and for final note, with all the latest GPU cards, they're all pulling more than 225 watts. So I would highly recommend using two PSU cables from the PSU to the GPU because the cables are only rated for 150 watts. And I think 75 watts is pulled from the PSIE slot. So if you're pulling more than 225 watts, highly recommend using two cables. And that's it. Thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you next time.